In order to display messages using our 16x2 LCD LED display, what we're going to do first is make sure that the connections are set correctly. So, moving from the left to the right, over here I have the potentiometer. It has a connection to the 5 volt pin, it, it has a connection to the ground, and over here it connects on pin number 012, it's on pin 2 here, in order to influence the contrast. There are two other connections here to the ground and to the 5 volts. Okay, next to these we have this connection to data pin 0 and this connection to data pin number 2, which we will be using later. Then these four connectors go straight to 12, 11, 10, and 9 in the respective order. And then there are two more connectors here for the LCD LED backlight. One of them is the ground, the other one is the 5 volt. Okay, I'm back in my interface now. I'm going to click Create New Application, enter Alarm Clock, and then click Next and Submit. Then find my new application and click its name. Alarm Clock, okay. The first thing we're going to have to do is initialize this LCD. So there's a block here. Make sure you change the RS pin to 0 and the enable pin to number 2. And then the data pins are just like I said 12, 11, okay, 10, and 9. Next we're going to create a loop. Go back under LCD and set the LCD position to the first character and then go back to the LCD tab and print something on it. We need to create a custom text. This will have the hours, minutes and seconds. In between it will have the number separator. Okay, add this tab that says format two digits with zeros and add the hour of the day then the minute and then the second. Make sure you add that separator here as well. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Let's test this out. Everything seems to be working alright. It's updating once a second. And now that I move the potentiometer, you can see the contrast changing. And now I'm going back to the optimal value. Thank you for watching.